Welcome to another video from the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. My name is Tara. I'm Dave. And we are part-time resellers on Poshmark and eBay. And Dave puts the Poshmark closet name on the screen now. Yep. And today we're going to tell you what has sold in the last half of May. And while we do that, we are going to drink. What are we going to drink? A French white wine, Blanc, Cote Masse. It's straight from France. What's it taste like? It tastes like a Chardonnay to me. Mm. It's, it's kind of. It almost tastes like it's got that, that fruit, um, pear kind of uh, sour flavor. It almost tastes like the Indiana grape. Oh, Traminette. almost like a Traminette. Not quite as sweet, but yeah, I, I see the resemblance. Um, just so you're aware, Dave is half a bottle uh, in already. And so this is either going to be the best or worst video we've ever had. It's going to be great. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to do it. What did we call it last time? Kittens. That is not what we called it last time. Uh, what sold? No, yes, we're doing ghetto what sold. Ghetto style, what sold. Ghetto, what sold. We do have a cloth over our light to reduce the glare. So Super hopefully ghetto, be hopefully better. there's no fire. We're not going to leave it there for eternity. I mean, we'll take the cloth it's, down it's LED. when we're it's done. It's pretty low heat. All right, so I will read. And we have kids all over our Everywhere. house. Everywhere. That's why I'm half so, bottle in. So there's going to be noises probably. Because they don't, they're usually not here when we do this. I'm going to read the item and give you how much I paid for it, if I remember. And Dave will show you the lovely pictures. Get First up, style. so we're starting May 16th sales through uh, we May We had a bad 31st. month. How was your month? Just, we're not there yet. Dave, you're ahead of the game. I'm ahead of the game, y'all. Here we go. Uh, men's Birkenstock Milano used sandals. Look at those bad you, boys. If rusted. you couldn't tell. Size 45. We had these in a haul video. We got them at the size outlet. Size 45. It was for a giant. And they were that's, rusted. That's a size 12. Oh. Equivalent. I'm a giant. So you are a giant too. They sold for $15. They were 15 the bones. most used shoes I'd ever tried to sell. And they sold for $15. Just keep going down. No, uh, Harley Davidson. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, wrong way. Har Harley Davidson heathered gray long sleeve t-shirt. I mentioned this in another of my videos. My mom, well you know, the glare's not totally cured. We're working on it. Uh, my mom gave this to me to sell. I don't know how much she paid. And it sold within an hour for $15. And it did have armpit stains, which were disclosed. And still sold in an hour. Everybody loves armpit stains. Yeah, I do especially. The next is another Harley Davidson black fitted rhinestone t-shirt. Sold in under one day for $10. One day. One day. I thought you said Dave. No. That's all I can handle right now, one day. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Excellent. Next is Burberry London men's white flip cuff dress shirt. Look at that guy. And we did find that. No, I found that myself at the bins. You weren't with me. We found it. Uh, it sold for $40. I think it took a couple weeks. We found it. No. Okay. All right. Next we didn't find it. is vintage high rise button fly denim shorts. I bought these for a dollar a long time ago. I thought they were so cute with the little heart pockets. Show the bottom picture. You see that heart yeah, I'll pocket? Yeah, I'll do it. Just tell me what to do. I'll do it. Boom. Heart pockets. And button fly and red stitching. They sold for $13. It took a few months. The next thing we have is Jelly the Pug Floral and Polka Dot Girls Dress. I remember I got this at the bins also. I sold it for $5. <laughs> but it probably cost 30 cents in weight and I profited two bucks. So American Eagle Shorty Distressed Jean Shorts. Super distressed. $13. Homeless I think I got those at the bins also. They were size zero, so it took a little while for them to sell. Lane Bryant floral print 
an orange, no, floral pink and orange A-line skirt. Your I, titles are kind of tricky, aren't they? No. <laughs> My reading is tricky. Uh, I got that at the bins also. Sold for $15. I think it took a couple months. You're going above and beyond the Call yeah, of Duty today. Yeah, I am. Democracy Absolution Skinny Stretch Jeans. I remember I mentioned these as um, my favorite jeans to wear. They're called Democracy Absolution. They have a big waist, uh, elastic waistband on the inside. And I paid $7 for them because I believe they would sell fast. And they sold in one day. Now, it was just $20, but it was... Fast turnaround. That's my favorite. We have a cabbie red laid back tee v neck soft t shirt. And I I always forget the name of the. Oh, it's a thrift store called Attic Window in our town. For a good cause. For a good cause. And I paid, I think, $3. It sold for $25. We have. Oh, this skirt took forever. Comb toi vintage look. Pleated roses floral skirt. I believe it was sold on Mod Cloth. Wow, there we go. Um, but it took forever to sell. I'm gonna look at the date on it. Look October. The date. So that was seven months. Ten dollars. Waited seven months for that ten dollars. Here we go. <laughs> Top Shop Coral Peach Sleeveless Pleated Romper. I paid $1 for this on a 99 cent Sunday. Rompers are hot for some reason. Sold for $10. Not that hot. 10 bucks. I was sending a lot of really low offers right about this time in a row. Because who doesn't like to get naked to go pee? Exactly. Here we go. Oh, these are cool shoes. Sanuk slip-on beige gray shoes with pink trim. I got those at the outlet, I remember. Sold for $12, but they're very, very lightweight, so they probably cost under $1. Nice. The limited red exact stretch straight leg pants. My mom brought these to me. Uh, they're, I don't know what they are. I mean, they're the limited, but they sold. The disco pants. <laughs> very, they sold very fast, like two days maybe, for $18. And this was purchased by one of our viewers, Kimberly. Mm. Normal people scare me too. I wore that in a video, I remember. And it was just a little bit too small for me. She said she bought it for her daughter for her birthday. $8. Happy birthday, daughter. Uh oh, there's like all the kids coming in the room at the same time. We're pink surrounded. What? Oh, they just want to mess wanna, with us. They want to be in the, the video, probably. <laughs> Girls, you want to come around, say the name of your uh, channel, and then... They really want more subscribers to watch yeah. them. Yeah, how many subscribers do you have? 65. 65. They're and doing they do really slime well. They do a lot of slime dancing stuff. Dancing and... Mostly slime. Things that elementary kids would do. Oh. Hi. Hi. Our channel is called Izzy, and the Izzy, Izzy yeah, and Lizzie Show. Yeah. We can put a link to it again. Noise. Noise. <laughs> That's it. Bye, guys. All right. Plug, plug your channel, and that's all the help we get. Bounce. What's next, Tara? Some Nike, Nikes. Nike free RN Flyknit running athletic shoes. These are men's. Holy Nikes. I wear Nike free Flyknit. That's why I bought them. Even though they're they were a little bit worn, but it had been months. I'd been trying to sell them, but I sold them for thirty one dollars finally. White House Black Market Black Off the Shoulder Lace Trim Top. This is a newer label, so it was a newer um, style. Sold for $20. I think I had relisted it twice, and it finally sold for $20. Born Women's Brown Leather Wedge Platform Sandals. This may have been the first pair of shoes I bought to resell. So they, I'd had them a while, and they finally sold for a whopping $10 good day I was happy to see him go the next one you can skip it says canceled well that's a bummer oh the fringe boots I had a, a bad day with fringe boots I had tell them about the bad day of fringe boots on the same day I finally I had a, my first pair sold 
and after about a month they came back to me they hadn't ever been claimed and I tried to contact the buyer Poshmark tried to contact the buyer she never answered so on that day I finally said we'll cancel the sale on the same day somebody bought my second pair of white fringe boots and then canceled that asked me to cancel it because they actually didn't have the money actually don't have the money so it was a bad white fringe boot day so they're still both for sale now neither have sold again okay uh boc white leather floral thong sandals my mom bought these to sell they sold for 18 dollars end of story we have a fossil denim cloth small crossbody bag. Ooh, that was a mouthful. We got this at the outlet. I think Dave might have found it. That's the only brand he knows. It's my style. Sold for twenty dollars. <laughs> I think it was full asking price. That's my style purse. Okay. Fossil. Told you, half a bottle. Now he's almost a full bottle. Uh, almost famous leopard print skinny pants leggings holy cow look at no these. that's a leopard not a cow holy leopard I, my mom bought these and i don't know how much she paid for them they sold for 13 dollars. wow wow <clears throat> louise headley retro spring yellow sunflower dress i had had this for sale for a long time and it's a pretty dress um I had it like originally priced at $75. I finally sold it for $25. She loved it though. That's good. That's great. Under Armour Purple Molded Cup Sports Bra. I got this at the outlet That's recently and it sold in one day for full asking price of $20. Check that out. Jeez. Loft Blue and Gray Stripe Back. Stripe Back Sweater Tank Top. Yeah, that title makes no sense, but that's what it is. I bought this to wear myself, and then it was just a little bit too uh, big on me. Yeah. So, it sold for $11. I did make all my money back I spent. I, When I say I buy things for myself, I buy things for myself at Goodwill. Not, I didn't buy it at Loft. No. <clears throat> J. Crew Buttonfly Vintage High-Waisted Mom Jeans. I thought for, sa for sale. For sure, these would sell much better, much faster. Mom took, jeans. Took months and they were ten dollars. I don't know. I don't I don't do the mom jeans. I don't understand them. I'm just gonna stay out of that. It's weird because you're a mom. Thank you. But I'm not gonna wear mom jeans because I think it cancels the coolness out when you're a mom and you wear the mom jeans. Waiting on you. Just Sorry. show them. Max and Cleo leopard print rockabilly More retro dress. Leopard. And I believe I bought this for 99 cents at our Goodwill. Nice. To give it a try. Sold for $12. Took a while. Probably not going to do that again. Ariat Kids Ride Love Tattoo Style Cowboy Boots. I these remember were, finding these at the, uh, at the, the outlet. Bins. They were yeah. really dirty. And I have leather cleaner and it did nothing. So I took a $10 offer. Still made totally more than we it. paid for. Yeah, totally worth it. Garnet Hill white and pink dainty eyelet skirt. This was a dainty one. This was 99 cents and it sold Super for twelve dollars. Took a few months, I think. Super dainty. Super dainty. <laughs> That's your middle name. David Super Dainty Stoops. <laughs> <laughs> Dave the Destroyer Stoops, I think is what it is. Yeah, super dainty. Super dainty, Dave. Zara purple glitter. Sparkle rubber rain oh, boots. Oh, I knew those were going to sell. I wanted to keep these, but they sold very fast for $15. Sparkly. I had spent $2 on them at a garage sale. On James and <sighs> I kind of wanted, like, I don't think I would have been able to fit them in a bag to take to England, but I wanted to take them it to England. It would have been perfect. Cabby 5019 Martini Sheer Button Up Navy Blue Top sold for $25. I paid full price for that one I can't remember where full did I? price I think four dollars is full price oh okay um <laughs> it sold for 25 in just a couple days I found these yep Puma men's white and green athletic sneakers they sold huh they sold for 12 dollars hey whatever <laughs> hey whatever <laughs> it's 
better than slowly the... but surely. Uh, they weren't too long ago that we found those. No, I mean like we get small amounts yeah. and build the the fund slowly. <laughs> Sundance blue floral print silk midi dress. I paid seven dollars for that at a Goodwill, and they it sold for twenty seven. Things are falling. It's all right. We're getting there. I think I had 47 sales in the last half of the month. J. We're getting Crew. There. J. Crew Navy Blue Ruched D Cup Bandeau Swimsuit. That's the name of the swimsuit. D Cup or? D Cup, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's not the size, huh? No, it was size four, but it was called a D Cup swimsuit. Sold for $15. D Cup. I need a drink. Lululemon Find Your Zen Tank. Heather dark gray. We found that, or I found that at the outlet, I remember. Um, had no size on it, just that one little dark colored symbol, but I found it. It sold for $22. Lululemon Wonder Under Crop Tights Leggings. These are the plain black ones, not high waisted. Size four. They sold for $31 in a couple days. Amazingly, I, I found four pairs that day. This is the only one that sold. Usually my Lululemon leggings sell very fast. I still have the other three available. Oh, this, we're getting really close to the end because that London. was two days ago. London Times, burgundy, red and black career dress. My mom gave me this, don't know how much she paid. It sold for $18. Guess bronzed gold wax coated black skinny jeans. I remember buying these on 99 cent day and then no interest in them ever relisted a couple times somebody paid 25 full asking price for them finally excellent yep new with tags Lulu's white bless this mesh bodycon dress working on it here I paid full wow. price for it which was seven dollars what a dress um, I did find when I was taking pictures like two very very faint like makeup stains on it which I disclosed but um, it still sold for 25 in like an hour an hour yeah so, well, hecky darn hecky darn baseball mom soft blue burnout graphic tee I do remember we got this at the outlet um, and burnout teasers are very lightweight so didn't cost much at all sold for $12 took a couple months vintage 90s polka dot tie front crop top I bought this for myself and then I just couldn't make myself wear it it had shoulder pads which I could have taken out they were really easy to take out but I don't do crop tops it sold for $15 so I made my money back it cost me four uh, Nike dark gray retro sleeveless racerback romper. We got that at the outlet. More romper. It had a lot of likes, like 20 something. Finally sold for $17. Romping around. <laughs> Your favorite thing to do. <laughs> they don't make rompers for men. Oh, they do. <clears throat> I've they never do. seen one for well, sale. You need to Google it and put it right there at the 18 and a half minute mark. We'll see. I don't know if I could romp around for real. You don't have to buy it, but you can look at it. I'm going to buy it. Cabby 3028 Charlie Oatmeal Double Breasted Jacket. I had paid full price for this. $6. I we were all double breasted. Hopefully. Um, $6. <laughs> and I thought it would sell really fast, and then no interest in it. And I relisted it with the word. I think oatmeal was the official color. I forgot to put that in, and it sold very fast after that for $24. Oatmeal is my favorite color. I know. After salmon. Next. Lauren Conrad, blue lace zip front bomber jacket. Bomber. I had relisted front. this a couple times too, added the word bomber jacket, and it sold really fast after that for $17. Americans love bombers. I paid one dollar for it. Swimsuits for all. Ashley Graham tsunami one piece. Tsunami. Paid four fifty at that. Uh, oh, that was the one that had the metal on it. Uh, what's the store called? Attic window. <laughs> I can never remember. 
Attic Window Thrift Store paid $4.50. It sold for $21. It took uh, a few weeks. J. J. Crew, Crew. Patchwork Summer Empire Waist Sundress. This one I paid one quarter Oyster. for at a rummage sale right across the street from those Zara boots. Um, and then I washed it and the back like ties to adjust the waist ripped out of it. My mm. mom repaired them and it sold like in a few days. Excellent. It was an older, it was so old that there's no stock photo for it. So it was an older style, but it still sold. That's why it fell apart. $14. Did I say it was $14? Here we go. Soma Blue Crossback Flora, it should have been floral. That was a typo. Lace Chemist Gown. Uh, sold for $21. I paid $2 for it. It took under a month, I think. We have three more. Athletic khaki pleated skort, skirtless skort. shorts. I love this, skorts. This was also so old that there was no stock photo for it. They're not shorts. They're not a skirt. They're both skorts. It sold really fast in a few days for $15. Assets by Sarah Blakely, Spanx Black Swim Dress. Is I this? thought this would do a little better than it did. It took like a month. Or maybe a little more. $18. That's it. We have one more swimsuit. And then that's it for May. Jansen Black Island Islet Lattice Back Swimsuit. My mom purchased this. And it sold for $17. <laughs> what were you trying to show there? The rest. <laughs> There's like eight pictures. How's that showing the rest? <laughs> now you get to see all of them okay that's it for May it's something like 47 sales at the end of the month and we had 44 for the first part so it's 91 it's a lot of, lot of packages I just want to wait to see what he says he's, he's so quiet now <clears throat> We can, we can do these with half a ball from now on. Because then I get to talk. I'm in. <laughs> so I did look up um, the uh, report for our monthly totals. And I did it the same way we have done every month. Just to make it consistent. Because when they give you your report, if you don't know this, it's money that you have been credited. So probably 10 credited. or... Just kidding. Credited. It's a funny word. Credited. Anyway. Sorry. <laughs> Probably 10 of these have not been credited. They haven't gotten the package or haven't accepted the package. You're going to laugh at that Cre again. Sorry. How do you spell it? Credited. C-R-E-D-I-T-E-D. -E -E oh. Credited. <laughs> Credited. Anyway, when you get your report, it's only um, money that you have gotten. Credited. <laughs> okay, cool. So, a lot of these wouldn't be included in this total, but we did it the same as we had for the other videos, because that's just way easier. So, for May, we have $1,514 total. May is our, so far, worst month since we started making videos. I don't know why. After all the fees, it was $1,127.50. So... Not bad for a part-time gig. Right. It is only part-time. I don't know, I don't know why it was different. Um, I know I listed 120-some items, which is close to what I normally list. Um, I don't know if we were busier in... We had all our kids programs and stuff in May. And June Everybody's is not going to be good to compare to because we will be gone for a lot of those days. Ten. I counted. Ten days. <clears throat> Which is great. Um, so we will we'll give you the June totals, obviously, but 
July will be a better comparison of if it's just like summer, slow down, or what. My birthday's in July. That's great to know. Well, fun fact. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, that noise probably came on the video. That was a door opening, not like somebody's pants being ripped in half, in case you're wondering. So, um, oh, I didn't even get one glass in. Oh gosh, the girls are back. <laughs> what are they going to say? They're, they're wild. All right, so uh, that was... That was a video, and... <laughs> that was a video. Awesome. We're off to... Uh, oh, here they come. <laughs> they're wild. We'll let that uh, subside. We're off to England in two days, and stoked. So we won't have another video for Never a couple been weeks. Never there. Me, me either. She's back. <laughs> All right. I think that's a good. Uh, Girls, have we had a good weekend so far? Yeah. <laughs> Having a good weekend. We're going to uh, cut this video off and... Um, Cheers. Yep. Please, what, what do we say at the end of stuff? Like, comment and subscribe. And yeah, subscribe, Whatever you want to do. We don't have a question for you. Um, what's your middle name? What's, sure your, you, what's your fantasy middle name? Like, The Destroyer. Make sure you Dave check out our channel. The Destroyer Stutes. Oh. Um, so, yeah, what would you say your middle name is? What's your comment middle below. name? You don't have to give us your actual middle name. We're, we don't want to steal your identity. No. We just want to know your fake middle name. Your superhero middle name. Your... Danger. <laughs> just give a middle name. A random one. Like, you could even do, like, poop head. Poop head. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my daughter. Cracker Corny. <laughs> <laughs> but that's my name, so. Her nickname is Cracker Corny. <laughs> cannot steal my name. Sorry, we won't steal Cracker Corny. All right. So, good night from. Good night from. Tara, Crazy town. Terror exasperated students. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>